Welcome back to another vlog. I am actually headed to Korea this evening, so I've just been packing and getting everything ready before I go. This video is sponsored by Curology. I have been a Curology user for quite some time now. It seriously has changed my skin. I just get a lot of occasional breakouts that are caused by stress, really. And now, ever since I started working out like three to five times a week, whenever I sweat, it just breaks me out and I feel like when I'm at CrossFit, I'm all over the floor and things like that just causes me to break out around my forehead and around this region. But yeah, Corology has been a staple in my skincare regimen for quite some time now. There will be moments where I don't need it as much, but I find that just using it on a consistent level it really helps just maintain the breakouts. So if you guys aren't familiar with Curology, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. It comes in this white bottle, very clean. So how Curology works is that you're paired with a licensed provider who is there to answer all of your skincare questions. And from there, they prescribe you a formula with prescription ingredients that is mixed just for your skin. My formula is designed to treat acne and just Overall texture, when you go on their website, you just take a quick quiz, but then also you gotta send in some selfie photos of what your current skin looks like. And when I submitted mine, <laughs> it was really bad. I just had a lot of breakouts at that time and it's nice for their provider to see what is really going on with your skin, whether you have cystic acne, just occasional breakouts. I just use this in the evening, I take one pump and do a light thin layer all over my skin. Now that my skin has cleared up, I'm able to wear lighter foundations or just tinted moisturizer and it feels really good because when you feel confident about your skin, it's just a game changer. And I feel like everyone deserves to feel that, but I know it's hard because everyone has their own acne journey. But if you've tried everything, nothing else has been able to work for you. I truly think that you guys should try Curology and I'm not just saying that. I've seen it work not only on myself but other people and so I, I would just highly recommend giving it a try. If you guys are interested, you can use the link in my description box and you'll get your first bottle for free. All you have to pay is $4.95 and that's for shipping and handling. Oh, I almost forgot the giveaway, hello. Three lucky random people will have a chance to win a one year supply of Curology. The giveaway will end at noon on October 28th and the winners will be announced on the 29th. All of the info will be in the description description box so make sure you check it out and good luck and thank you so much to Curology for sponsoring this video. You made it. Welcome to your motherland. <laughs> Ma? Totally. We're calling line. No more time we saw. We have touched down in Seoul, Korea. It was a long flight, but I was so exhausted from work. As soon as I got on the plane, I knocked out even before the plane took off. <laughs> Super excited to be here with Andy. Life has just been crazy. The moment I landed, my phone was just blowing up because Woman launched today. I'm just like speechless, like how much love and how much support we've received from the launch and uh, it's just like so much going on and a lot of thoughts that I'm trying to process. Anyways, it's really early here. It's 7 a.m. We landed around 5. Um, I'm just like on so much adrenaline right now that I'm not even tired. I'm gonna eat breakfast with Andy. Then I'm gonna hit the gym because I have not worked out in so long and I just, I need to release, you know? Just waiting for Andy right now and then we're off to breakfast. I love Korea. Look at this, we have udon, we got some juk. This is the life. Are you feeling all right, Andy? <laughs> what, are you? Are you about to go back to sleep? I'm up. You gonna work out? I'm gonna work out. But well, you can skip today. I'll let you skip. No, no, no. What are you talking about? You got it. I'm out. Okay, okay. This is a thin ass robe. This is a thin robe. This is not Robin approved. 
This is Bobbin? There's no flushness to this. No. Yeah, I'm so full. <laughs> God, what are we doing? <laughs> like our lives, man. Seriously. You gotta work this shit off. Yo, chill. Like, it's just... <laughs> what are you doing? I'll no, do some crossfit. No, me and Angie said that we are gonna... I won't say we'll work out every day, but we're, at least if we did three times a week, I'll be happy. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right, people. Jose at CrossFit, my coach, he sent me the workout. So it's a lot of burpees and things going on, but we're gonna we're gonna try our best to complete it and just be a part of the class, even though I'm like thousands and thousands of miles away. So wish me luck. Twenty. Just squat. All right, all right. Okay. And then twenty burpees. That's 200 burpees, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. Hold up. managed to wash my hair, do my makeup, I dress, and now we're off to get lunch somewhere. I'm so full. Partially because the pants that I'm wearing are very restricting right now with my belt, so. Anyways, um, we just left the group and Andy and I are going to go rest a bit before we have orientation. Good morning, it is officially day two here in Korea. Today we're going to go around the city and do some touristy things, check out some cool spots, take some photos. Isol Yu invited me to Korea to go along this tour with them. So thank you to Isol Yu for having me. Well, that was a fail. 
I just try to wake Andy up. He's in the room beside me, and it's 6.45, which is the time he said he will wake up. I'm trying to go running around the city. I want to do a mile run. Nothing crazy, but, you know, just like... Get some fresh air. Get my endorphins going before we tackle the crazy day. My trip so far has been really fun. Today will be the last day of the tour and tomorrow the trip ends, but Andy and I will be going to Mazhan to see our family, which I'm so excited about. Woman launched a few days ago. I feel so overwhelmed and just lucky to get this kind of support from you guys. Whaley and I have been working so hard on it, our entire team actually, and to see it finally come to fruition is insane. So thank you guys. And what better way to celebrate than just be out here in Korea and have a good time. <sighs> My life has just been wild. I never thought that it would be here, like where it's at right now. And I know that sounds like cliche but seriously there's not a day that I wake up where I don't feel like how did I deserve this <laughs> am I worthy of this you know I have to remind myself that I am and that I worked hard but sometimes I I am my toughest critic for sure and I'm very hard on myself but I want to remember to take these moments in and appreciate all of it because this isn't forever you know so anyways i don't know how that went from calling andy and then to working out to this but <laughs> my mind has just been all over the place these past few days with that being said i really want to work out so andy better wake up within the next 10 minutes or i'm leaving without him uh maybe i should just go knock on his door hmm what do you guys think i'm a little scared <laughs> he'd be a little cranky in the morning <laughs> This is actually hilarious. I go, morning, ready to go run? <laughs> I'm going with or without you. Now get up and get dressed. We'll have a deserving breakfast afterwards. <laughs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> Rolling, running a mile, so it won't take long. Woo, let's get it. Whew. All, this, all these carbs, man. They are just getting to me. You know, when you come to Korea, you're gonna eat a lot of rice, a lot of noodles. Carbs is in every meal, pretty much. So, we gotta work it off. If you wanna eat good, you gotta work it off. I don't know if I should be running around Korea like this, cause they're just a lot more conservative. And I feel like my back tattoo Gets me a little paranoid, you know what I'm saying? So, I think I'm just gonna put this white tee on and like, I don't know, fold it up or something so I can breathe a little bit. It's gonna be hot. Does anyone else get like that when you travel to Asia? You just wanna kinda cover up or is it just me? I know I should do me and everything, but at the same time, I wanna respect, respect everyone. So we're gonna go run like this. Run it! Ooh, we run it in the city. <laughs> oh, okay. On. Don't be dodging my calls too. Talking about, I got alarm for six forty-five. I was asleep for seven forty-five actually. Okay, we didn't discuss this. You don't make these kind of executive okay. decisions by yourself. <laughs> Are you crazy? First of all, you went to sleep straight away after we got back, right? Okay, what, what time, time was that? What time was that? Nine? Oh, nine. What, no. Wait, what time was it actually? I don't it even was, know. It was 9.20. And guess who had to stay up for another hour? Because of your call? Yeah, I had to stay up till 10.30 just to take the call. Oh my goodness, so you needed an extra hour. Uh-huh, wow. and then after that, we stayed on until like 12.30. <sighs> on the call? Yes. Mm. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that, but you're gonna love this. You don't seem sorry, see? You just see. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God! You should bring your phone, your AirPods. Got it all. What Great. else do you need? Let's go! This is 
just finished her two mile run. Two miles, let's Woo! go. I know, I only plan on doing one, but the one mile passed so fast. I don't wanna hear it, I just plan on doing one mile. No, I said that in the vlog, I was like, we're just gonna do one mile. And we just kept going and like, it's so nice running in Seoul. Like we got the city behind us. It's good. Life's good, man. Okay. Good morning. Today we are packing up and we're headed to see our family in the Masan area. I feel well rested and now I'm just gonna pack up. There is a huge pile of mess that I need to clean. We are taking the KTX. I think it's like a three hour ride, which is not bad. Um, I'll probably just get some work done on the ride there. I'm really excited to see my family. I'll be seeing my dad's side of the family today, um, including Andy's mom, which I'm so excited about. So yeah, I'm packing up and we're off to see the family. <laughs> side of the family lives. My aunt is in the car. She is waiting for me. I'm about to grab some coffee. We just had karbuk soup for lunch. It was so good. Um, but yeah, she came and picked me up from Andy's mom's house, which is not too far out from Jingdong. Um, and I'm gonna see my grandma, so it's gonna be a good time.
먹는다. 이게 좀 다. 이거 하면 먹을 사람 좋을 것 같고. 맛이 없어서 내가 내 이거 맛이 없는 거예요. 뭐가? 아니, 처음에가 맛이 없더라. 응. 아, 뭐, 그래. 응. 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 어느 언제 몇시 와? 몇시 정도 좀 된다. 고갱 씨, 그거 할 거라면 다음 목구님 보는 가. 아니, 한번 구경하고 와. 앤디 좀 엄마도 보고 와. 우리 씨, 우리 엄마 니 보러 왔다. 아, 할머니 보러 갔어. 고맙다, 날 보러 와주셔. 이렇게 해라. 아, 맞아. 큰나, 그렇게 가자. I'm not It's too late. You shouldn't go back tonight. You should stay the whole week here. No. Okay, so you sit down. Good. We're out here in Mazan and I'm with my cousins and we're getting dinner and it's our first time doing this so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> since I just sat down and chatted with you guys. I never really get a chance to sit down and chat, but um, this trip has been incredible. I feel like for the past month, 
My life has been so on the go and it's been very exciting, but I can sometimes get overwhelmed with so much movement in my life and it's been just that. So grateful that I can travel and do what I love, um, but I also miss just like the slower moments and it's kind of perfect that it's been pouring raining for the past couple of days. There's actually a typhoon hitting in a near area and so we're getting a lot of rain. It kind of forces us to spend some quality time together and it's nice to just sit here and do some work in my aunt's office slash closet and just hear the rain fall. I'm spending the next few hours finding music for my videos. I definitely have to dedicate, if not a day, solid like four hours finding new music. Um, unfortunately, my grandma is sick. She was fine the day that I got in, but then it started raining and it got kind of cold and that affects her body. She's 83, so she's, you know, overall she's in great condition, but she's old. So on Tuesday, she just had a really sore throat and she wasn't feeling well. Her joints were hurting, her chest was hurting. And so today she uh, checked into the hospital, got admitted and they're just situating her so we'll probably visit her later on this evening and I will be there with her tomorrow as well but just like I hate seeing her sick even if even though it's not like anything serious I just don't want to see my grandma like that and I hate even having to see her in any kind of pain like I would do anything in the world to take that away from her even if like I had to put that on myself so I don't want to get all emotional because she's fine and it's nothing serious but like I just I don't know she's like my only grandparent that I have left <laughs> and um, losing my grandpa a few years ago really was an eye-opening experience for me because I am not used to dealing with death in my family at all um, he was the first and then Andy's dad was the second and it's you know never gets easier but like with my grandpa I had a lot of regret for not coming to visit him because I would prioritize work and I'm fortunate enough to be in a position where I am super busy but want to make it a point to step away and come visit my grandma as much as I can while I can because it's not gonna be forever and she's only getting older and like She's just been with me for so long, so yeah, it's unfortunate that, you know, while I'm here, she is a bit ill, but she'll be fine, so anyways, I think someone just came in. Um, I'm going to check who it is and then get back to work, but I just wanted to pop in and say hello because I know it's just been a lot of B-roll and I apologize, but I hope you guys know that, like, I'm thinking of you and I'm just really, I've been spending time with my family and it's so important to me, so...
just because I feel like they deserve it. Honey, what do you want to do? I just said, what about me? I don't know. Why don't you go? I'm so cute. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Why? I don't Come on.